from my year J2026 warriors. I'm just going to give you four mistakes which I feel most of the kids do when there are just four months away from the J mains first attempt. And I've seen this again and again and again. So, you know, I really feel that I should make this video because it's a must watch. Okay, I'll keep this video short and let's begin with the first mistake. Now, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of videos on YouTube and maybe Instagram here and there, which talks about chapter weightage. Or even if you do a normal Google search, always priority list, higher weightage, everything will be given to you or chapters to skip. This is the biggest mistake which kids do. Now, let me give you an example. Say the chapter of ray optics. It's a very important chapter. Now, I will say, okay, it's high priority, high weightage. But then, if you actually think about it, not all the subtopics are important. There are only certain topics which again and again come in the examination. And I'll show you a proof also. Like, we have done the analysis. If you see, for example, physics, there are 24 chapters which are very, very important. In maths 21, in chemistry 24. Now, this might seem like huge, but in that, if you count the subtopics which are repeated again and again in the past couple of years, you will see they are just 58 in physics, 41 in chemistry, and 32 in mathematics. They are not even equally distributed. Many times people think 10 topics in maths, 10 topics in uh, physics, 10 topics in chemistry. Forget topics, they think chapters. First of all, doing chapter analysis is a waste. Number two, giving equal weightage is a waste. It's unequally distributed. So, if you count the total number of subtopics, it barely comes to 28% of the entire of the entire subtopics which you should actually do. So, these are the total number of subtopics out of which only 58 are getting repeated. Out of total 196 in chemistry, only 41 are getting repeated. Out of 154 subtopics in mathematics, only 32 topics are getting repeated. Like for example, mirror questions hardly come. Inclined plane projectile hardly comes. If you talk about maths, the two point uh, finding always comes. So, certain things, subtopics are getting repeated almost in every shift that comes to just 24% of the entire syllabus. And if you do 24%, you are getting 60% marks. Are you getting my point? 60% marks. 60% is close to 180 marks out of 300, which will guarantee you 99 percentile. So with one fourth of the syllabus, 24% is roughly one fourth of the syllabus, you are getting 99 percentile. This is what people miss. And this is the biggest mistake. Now, what are those subtopics? I will make a separate video on it. And if you want that video, please like this video right away, right now. Only if I see you guys interested because it takes a lot of effort. Nobody in India has done it. Let me tell you that. I'm telling you openly, nobody in India has done it. If you want the entire subtopic list, please comment and like this video. Sir, we want it. Okay, this was the first mistake. Second mistake. The second mistake is many people do the chapter sequentially. Maybe if you have not been serious or you are starting late or you had too many backlogs and when you get that motivation, you watch some strategy and you start doing everything sequentially, units and dimensions, this, this, this. Don't do that. First, start with dependent topics. Dependent means without that topic, you cannot study much. And they are also important. For example, mechanics, right? Vectors, you should know. Newton's laws, you should know. Work parameters, you should know. Only then you can understand many of the other things. Many people, what they do, they just start with units and dimensions. Yes, units and dimensions might be important. But it's not dependent. It is. It is. It can be done independently also towards the end. So first, do dependent chapters and uh, important chapters. Then, once you have done the base, the dependent chapters or the important chapters then go to those topics which can be done after this. Like for example, if you have understood work power energy and uh, Newton's laws and circular motion, then you can go to rotation. 
right if you have done simple harmonic motion then you can go to waves or wave optics got my point if you have done electrostatics gosla you can also go to current electricity like that so there are some dependencies okay and then after those dependencies you can go to the chapters which are dependent on them that is what you can go then go to independent ones and that should be always in decreasing weightage and that weightage i will give it to you only if you like and comment like i told is that clear okay don't take stress man don't take stress yeah right head on collisions always comes very true yes rightly pointed out so very important guys just don't do sequentially just don't do 11th only or 12th only okay you have to skip some chapters you have to go to some next chapter do the dependent chapter and then go to whatever chapters are dependent on that all right next one many people think if i give a hard test sir i will get good percentile or they feel sir j paper is going to be difficult yes it will be difficult but does that mean you have to do only hard test sir this test is very good questions but sir how much percentile i got or how many marks i got out of 300 i am getting barely 40 marks i am getting barely 60 marks what is the point of giving such a test which is never going to boost your confidence which is never going to tell you what your strength or weakness is which is never going to be helpful because the entire j paper is not going to be hard yes there will be 20% hard but it will not be 90% hard there will be 40% to 50% of the questions which are doable in the exam and like i told you the topics 60% of the topics are repeated even if you see what is coming in the first few shifts you get an idea what is going to come in the next shifts but we cannot say which shift you will get right so better to prepare the high weightage topics so my dear warriors please understand that you should not give a high test right now i would say give it in january but not now especially if you are underconfident or having many backlogs give a confidence building test on those high weightage topics see oh this topic always lenses question is coming 100% projectile motion uh, two points are given and always kinetic energy ratio or this is asked magnetism always that you know uh, the charge rotating in a transverse magnetic field every time question is coming do that question see the pyqs build that confidence that is all you need to do trust me you don't have to complete the syllabus you do little bit you do majority of the work you get 180 marks i am telling you we have done the analysis i'll share with you last and the fourth important mistake doing things randomly questions randomly no point you have to repeat in fact it is a spillover of the previous point if for example there is a sub topic which always comes i know this chemistry topic always comes i have to not only do one compulsory question and see maybe a one shot or a detailed sub topic video but after that repeat repeat and repeat don't think sir why am i doing the same question five times no that is going to come i'm telling you it is going to give you marks repeat it you should be able to solve it no matter how that question comes in the exam i am leaking that sub topic for you please do it and just revise it at least those topics if you do you are done and sorted is that absolutely clear my dear students and you have to do it again and again and again every model four to five times four to five times bare minimum i am telling you don't think that you are wasting time yes after that move to the medium ones and then the low weightage and all of that clear these are the four mistakes which many students do and by the way there is a big surprise which is coming for all of you so quickly smash that like button and this was your captain shreyas on the vedantu j english channel we are the number one j english channel in the country and all thanks to you because we are for you okay your captain shreyas sir your physics teacher on the channel make sure you're liking so that you get the weightage list okay thank you bye bye take care